Hi, this is Amber from the A-Team. I'm going to take a look now at a Chrome extension called Insert Learning. This is another way you can differentiate your instruction with just a simple Chrome extension. So here's an article that I'm looking at, and if I assign this to students, yes, they can read it, and they may come up with questions on their own or uh, seek to find uh, a deeper meaning to the article, but you can also use the Insert Learning tool to overlay information into the web page. It's a great way, it's almost like thinking of an overhead transparency on top of a website article so you can actually control uh, some of the content and ask questions throughout. So when you find the article you want to use, once you've set up your Insert Learning account, you click the Insert Learning button. Now what this uh, allows you to do is it either lets you choose a lesson template, and there are some templates in there, but I'm going to actually dismiss this and I'm going to use some of the raw tools on the side, but this is definitely something that you can play with. But I'm actually going to use the text highlighter, and so maybe there's something I want to make sure that they really pay attention to. Um, so I'm going to take this highlighting tool and I'm actually going to highlight some of the text. And so when I share this with my students, they actually get um, this highlighting when they view the article. So it's not just me highlighting it for myself, I'm going to be able to share it with them with this highlight in it. So you can use the highlight tool. Another thing you can do is insert a sticky note. This is a great way to do some thinking questions or just to add some other resources to the article that you want to refer them to. So maybe we're talking about climate crisis right here. So I want to insert a sticky note in this area about climate crisis. And notice how it's split. It pushed this text down on the web page, and I can type anything here. Before I type, I want you to notice that it tells me I can put images in here, YouTube links, um, embed code, anything that I want to, I can actually put into here. But I may just put, you know, think about um, how cl the climate crisis impacts you or whatever it is that you wanted to add. So this is just a little sticky note. The other thing that you can add is you can actually insert a question. So if I have a question that I want to ask them about a particular part of the article or in a particular area, I can click in that area and notice a little pop-up happens. Again, pushes the web page down, so I'm actually putting things into the web page, which is where Insert Learning gets its name. I can assign it a particular value of points. Um, I can also select a STEM kind of question. There are some that already um, exist. I can use these or I can type my own. So uh, maybe I want to just go ahead and choose one of these. So uh, identify the main idea. And so when I'm ready, I can click Create, and that actually puts this in here. And you'll see that what the student will see is the question at the top, and then they're going to have an area where they can save their answers. I also have the ability to insert a discussion. So maybe at the end of this, before we get to the wild salmon population, I want to go ahead and insert a discussion. And so I want to put it here after this um, end of this section of the article, and I want to ha um, give them a discussion topic. So I'm going to say, discuss your thoughts so far about the, um, the decline of the bears. And then I'm going to create that, and this actually gives them a place to post um, discussion topics and reply to one another. Um, there are more options here. Um, you can assign certain, this is where you would assign things or edit information on the lesson. You can also view it as a student, which is the reason I clicked here, because I want you to see what this is going to look like for the student that I assign it to. So I'm going to go ahead and say view as student. So what your student's going to see when they get to this article that you've already inserted some learning into, they see the highlight, they see my little sticky note that gives them their thought process, but this could be a link or a video or images as well. I have a place that I can uh, post my answer. 
when I'm ready. I'm not actually going to post that. And then um, I have my discussion topic that I can also post. At the top it tells me to resume my teacher view and so now I'm back to teacher edit mode. So one of the things with insert learning that's really cool is that you can assign this to students. I want you to notice the Google Classroom button. So I can actually choose a class in Google Classroom and assign it this way. But I also can simply, if I don't have Google Classroom, I can also just provide them with a link so that they can um, have the ability to see the lesson. I do want you to notice that they have to have the Insert Learning Chrome extension on their device as well in order to see the things that you've inserted into the page. So once I find my um, Google Classroom here that I want to use, I can click Assign and they're going to get notified of that lesson. So this is a great way to take a web page and extend the learning for the students, provide them with some scaffolds and supports if you'd like, and give them a way to actually interact with web content. Um, that's Insert Learning. Use it in your instruction to differentiate.